All right, guys, we have another article here. This is from Erie News. Uh, service dog owners highlight importance of respecting animals at work. This sounds amazing. I have not watched this video or read the article yet. Um, but I love it when service dog owners step up to educate the public because no one's going to be doing it except you, right? You are not obligated to do it, but I love it when people choose to do so. So let's go ahead and get watching. I wonder if I can full screen this. Hold on. A service animal has a multitude of uses from so. helping someone navigate public spaces to providing emotional support. However, some locals are having issues with others interacting with their animals. Our Alyssa Wright reports. The staff at New Hope Assistance. Hold on, I wanted to pause just, just for a second. Um, well, this is in Warren, Pennsylvania, from Erie News. Okay, this is in Warren, Pennsylvania. Oh, it's my state. It's my state. Well, one of the things that the newscaster just said, um, providing emotional support, I want to be very clear about this, just in case there's there's any confusion. Emotional support is not a task. Yes, can service dogs provide it 100%, but it is not a task because that is simply something that emotional support animals are for, okay? Just wanted to be clear on that because sometimes there's, con there's confusion on what is and is not a task. Emotional support is not a task, okay? dogs understands the importance of keeping service animals and their handlers safe. We train service dogs to help individuals lead a more productive independent life um, with the help of their assistance obviously. These dogs are considered to be medical equipment trained to detect an abundance of disorders and attacks ranging from anxiety to seizure disorders. I was diagnosed with CPTSD and it has caused um, a seizure disorder so Atlas alerts me um, for multiple things if uh, my heart rate's spiking or if I'm about to have an attack. I also have a service dog Lucy and she is helping me with anxiety and PTSD we're still working with the alert for the PTSD, but basically it's the same. She alerted me before I have any attack. Each dog is trained to do a specific task. However, sometimes they're not always respected by the public. Just, yeah, don't distract them like you're saying. Don't look at them. Don't just... Hold on. Hold on. Yes, right? It's, it's polite to speak to the person um, if you see somebody with a service dog. Um, and direct questions to the person, right? Um, in general, it is considered very, very rude to solicit attention from somebody's service dog out in public. But, and at the same time, we also want to make sure as service dog handlers and trainers that we are preparing both our animals and our human clients for those kinds of situations, right? Obviously, how to handle those situations, but... I'll, I like to make that kind of attention as a cue to focus on the handler, okay? And that becomes a natural behavior that they just automatically do over a period of time. Um, so um, yes to both ends of those, but keep in the back of your mind that this is something that you're training your dog to also respond to. It's not something that should be stressing you out so much that, oh my God, Someone distracted my dog. My dog's super distractible and he can't focus on me to do his job, right? They sh that dog should be able to handle those instances without it being a problem. Just, just put, to put things into perspective. Distract them, don't whistle at them. Distracting a service dog can be dangerous as not all disabilities are visible. Leo helps me. Um, he alerts me when my blood sugars are high and low. Also, look at all of these handlers coming out and saying this and coming up together from, um, I believe it's a very specific, uh, yeah, it's from New Hope Assistance Dogs. I'm not familiar with them as a program, but I'm definitely going to be looking into them after this article. Um, he comforts me when I have panic and anxiety. He wakes me when I have late night terrors. In the end, it is best to completely ignore a working dog so as not to distract them from the task they're doing for their handler. Alyssa Wright, WNY News Now. Oh, it looks like they're advertising for a fundraiser of some kind. Shoes. 
Cali something something service dog fund service drive fundraiser. Okay, that's cool. So where is this new hope assistance dogs? We train service dogs to help individuals lead a more productive, independent life with the help of their assistants, obviously, said president of New Hope Assistance Dogs, Tammy Rogers. These dogs are considered to be medical equipment, training to detect an abundance of disorders and attacks ranging from anxiety to seizure disorders. I was diagnosed with CPTSD and, it's caused, and it has caused a seizure disorder, so Atlas alerts me for multiple things. If my heart rate is spiking or if I'm about to have an attack, said a New Hope service dog recipient, Alexis McCry. I also have a service dog, Lucy. She is helping me with anxiety and PTSD. We are still working on the alert for PTSD, but it's basically the same. She will alert me before I have any attacks, said Karen Garcia. Each dog is trained to do a specific task. However, sometimes they are not always respected by the public. Right. So I think we went over this. Um, in the end, it is it is best to completely ignore working dogs so as not to distract them from the task that they are doing for their handler. All right. Well, that's cool. I, I, I love this because you actually get to see the faces behind, you know, um, who are willing to talk about and educate about service dogs because in the end... It is up to us as handlers, and I know that's super shitty, that it is your responsibility to educate the public. And again, you don't have to if you don't want to, or if you feel like that is out of your wheelhouse, right? But you also have to acknowledge the fact that the world is the way that it is, right? Um, and in order to make it better, you know, somebody out there somewhere has to start doing the education. And I'm really glad and really proud of these handlers who were willing to go onto television and speak about what their dogs do to help them, um, the struggle that they're going through with the distractions, and um, just really overall great for them stepping up. So, um, you know, that's that's amazing. 